There he is, the man, the myth, the legend, Marcel Ball. Now when I turn my brights on, now I can see the top of trees. I'm not kidding. You will not. You will. A little update on the trip. Um, we're on the back roads about 20 minutes out from the cabin. Um, we've been shining a little bit, seeing some nice bucks. Um, I got Josiah here with me. He's on the video camera right now. Um, yep, it's me. We have been seeing real, real nice bucks for for Michigan's uh, Upper Peninsula. Just some some ones you hope survive the season and uh, get a little bigger. But uh, it's very nice to see up here. I've I've all I've this will be really my first year. Uh, hopefully, be up here again in November. But. Uh, deer hunting and I'm hoping uh, hoping to see deer. I've always heard stories of there's not too many out here. And from what we've been seeing up and uh, off the road here, it's looking pretty promising. I'm, I'm very excited to hunt up here. Yes sir, we got a stone We are passing the Escanaba River. Definitely gonna do some fishing here eventually. Oh yeah. But, all right, so the main reason why we're up here obviously is bear season, so um, tomorrow we're probably just gonna hang out, maybe go hunt some grouse. Um, I think Josiah wants to eventually pick out a stand. Yeah, we're gonna find a location for a stand for uh, deer season, for deer camp. And uh, I mean, like Jordan said, the number one reason we're up here is for a big old bear. Yep. Uh, hopefully we can get at, hopefully hopefully Jordan's got him with a bow. Um, I think that's your, your plan, isn't it? Yeah, that'd be sick. Um, supposedly got like a 40 yard shot. I have a buddy that's baiting for us uh, for the past few weeks, so got some good bear coming out 7 p.m. So hopefully we can lay one down. Phil's also hunting another one of our buddies. Uh, got some good bear on his stand, all coming out within the day. So hopefully Saturday, opening day, September 25th, we can knock a few bear down. That'd be nice. Yep. Um, I don't even think these people know how far we actually drive for this uh, uh, deer camp slash bear camp slash fish camp. Um, slash just. Yeah. The UP. I'm not going to tell you the town, but from where we are, it's about six and a half hours away. Six and a half, seven. Yeah, somewhere in there. So it's been a nice ride. Been listening to a lot of podcasts and some deer hunting. And, Just getting uh, excited. Just out the outdoors. So yeah, definitely getting excited. And uh, so we're about, yeah, 10 minutes out from the cabin. Camp Red Jacket. That's our camp name. So. Yep. I don't got too much more. No, nope, but I think so, that's I think that's it for the intro. So, yeah, yeah. Tag and drag outdoors. Yep. First video. Let's get it. Yep. <laughs> it's an insane life. Made it to Camp Red Jacket. Yeah, Here we that. are. What is he talking about? Got a bright light. Trying to figure it out. Huh? Got the buck pole over there. We are ready to go inside. Hey, you want to see a bolt gun? Joe's got his bow. I got my bow for practice. You gonna grab yours and let us in? Yes, sir. <laughs> you want to see a bolt gun? What you got? Oh, that's cool. Bear camp hall. Yes, sir. Some GoPro stuff. Got Put that in some use. New target. Got the Matthews VXR. Ready to hunt some bear. Oh, wow. Get 
in that tree, right? It didn't land? Oh, I see him now. Oh, I see him. yeah. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Nice. He just turned away. Walked away. Start out with that. Bear camp. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> All right. Going, rolling. All right, we're rolling. About to head to the uh, shooting range. Bill got a sight in his gun real quick. Not sight in, just you know, fire a couple Check shots. Check her up. Yep. Give him a little more uh, confidence in that shot. I got dialed in with the bow earlier. Phil, second year bear hunting. How you feel about it? I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. No. We got great sign on the cameras. Um, had a few bear fighting on the one uh, two nights in a row, so that's cool. Um, coming out early, so let's see what happens. But most important thing is just putting some bear down this weekend. Yep, that is. Let's go. Yep, got Joe behind the camera. She's gonna be sitting with uh, old Philip, so let's see how she goes. What's up guys, it's Jordan from TND Outdoors. Um, just got sat down on the bait pile. Um, I'm in a double seater uh, uh, ladder stand. I am about 20 foot off the ground. Uh, perfect spot for a bow. This is my first year ever trying to shoot a bear with a bow, which is so cool. Uh, I got my BXR, um, got some uh, hypodermic rage, The I think they're two and a half cut, I believe. But um, yeah, just got sat down. It's about uh, 3.30 right now. So bear been hitting this spot all day long. So good news. Um, they were just on here last night actually fighting. I'll throw up a picture of that sometime in this video. But just these bear are wild out here. They're everywhere. So first time self-filming really um, anything like I guess this big of a hunt. So, got my GoPro up here covering everything when I pull back on my bow. And then I got my Canon XA11 right here that I'm talking into to film the bear. Got my bow all hooked up. Got all my uh, um, hangers out of the tree so I can just be quiet as possible, methodical. That's the key, that's the goal. These bear are smart animals up here in the UP. Um, yeah, I've been waiting for this day for a few months now, and, uh, I got Phil probably two miles as the crow flies, uh, across a big, big swamp, so, uh, hopefully he's gonna put one down, Josiah's sitting with him tonight, so, hopefully they get some good footage or good video, but good luck, brother, by the way, I think you'll, uh, bag one for sure, hopefully soon, but, Phil's using his gun, so I'll be able to hear him when he shoots, so I'm probably going to cut the camera off here soon. We're just going to sit, watch, 
Um, beautiful day. It's uh, 65 degrees, nice cloud cover, it's perfect. Wind maybe three to five miles an hour coming out of the north, the south. So I'm gonna cut this off. We're gonna get to it, hopefully put down a big Michigan black bear, UP Michigan black bear. So, you know what? Good luck, brother. Again, let's get her done. Let's show them how it's done. TND outdoors, let's go. little update for you so it's uh, about 455 at the moment um, started to sprinkle a little bit um, just cleared up it's so sunny out right now it's beautiful um, these bear have usually been coming out around usually around six to seven so um, we're getting up on that time so we're gonna keep watching Grouse are everywhere. I've taken so many videos of grouse now. It's not even funny. It's awesome. It's really cool to just watch them out there, but I counted six or seven out uh, on the bait pile at one time, like a flock of chickens. But, um, beautiful out, like I said. Um, we're just trying to keep you updated on what's going on. Haven't heard any shots from Phil yet, so hopefully that'll come soon. Um, my dad, he just texted me and he's like, uh, what'd he say? He said, uh, oh, I can't, uh, I'm just wondering how bad you're going to be shaking when that Big Ben comes out. And I'm like, so true. I said I'd be probably shaking like a leaf, but hopefully I let it get comfortable down by the bait and, uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I really, I'm really looking forward to it. Um. There's nothing like sitting up in the UP in a double seater, comfortable, hidden, secluded, and just waiting for uh, any animal really, but obviously bear now. It's, uh, it's so much fun. I love it. Yeah, I'm just keeping an eye on the grouse down there. But this spot, um, like I said, we call it the honey hole. And when those bear pop out, they pop out right on top of you. Um, it's a little windy right now. Definitely picked up a little bit since I first got out here, but can't beat it. I mean, it's a little sprinkling of rain. That was all right, but um, hopefully it just pushes them out sooner. We were talking to some other guides down at the range earlier, and they said that they're going out bear hunting tonight. Um said that they've been seeing some good bear coming out early so um hopefully it's just a good good first day good first week all all around so well i'm gonna let you go i'm gonna keep an eye down here and next time i probably see you there might be a bear down there so let's get her done
guys. <clears throat> I just nailed a bear with my bow at 30 perfect. Oh, oh my good. I just heard the death moan. I just heard the death moan. I've never heard that with a bear. Guys. <laughs> Guys, I am, I don't even have words. My legs are shaking. Okay, we got a bear down. Oh my. Wow. I, so, I'm gonna tell you this story real quick. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Guys, we did it. Okay, I gotta calm down. <sighs> I can't calm down. It's too hard. Anyways, okay, so let's see. So about six, uh, let's say 620. Um, caught some black in the back of the uh, bait pile. I was like, eh, all right, it's a pretty big bear. I was like, I, I think I'll take it. Came up to the bait pile 30 yards. 30 yards away, um, was standing broadside. I let it get comfortable. I didn't want to rush myself. My nerves are going, I'm shaking. I am so excited. But um, yeah, so came in the first time, stood there broadside. I, want, I wanted to get a good look at it. So I looked at it. I'm guessing it's probably a 250 pound bear. I'm guessing, which is, you know what? I have my bow, I love that. I just shot a Michigan black bear with my bow. I am so excited. I am so excited. All right, back to the story. So he walks away with uh, some apples in his mouth. I got it on video. Uh, walks away. I was like, huh, I wonder if I should have shot him. Wonder if I should have shot him. I said I wasn't gonna shoot the first bear I saw, but turns out I just shot one. So uh, back to the story. He comes back, perfect broadside stands over there by the left side of the bait pile. He was about to head back in the woods. Perfect broadside shot. I nailed that Michigan black bear. Wow. It was about 627 when I just shot him. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so happy right now. Oh, we did it. All right, I'm gonna call my dad. You ready? Here we go. Let's go, let's go. Okay, here we go. It's on speaker. <laughs> I'm so excited. What's up? You know what's up. Shut your mouth. I just thwacked him. I heard the death moan, Dad. Jordan! Yup. Yeah. I got such good video. It's awesome. Oh my it, god, did you play it back? Dad, it literally was the most perfect shot. Came 30 yards broadside, just chilling there. Um, so I let it come in the first time and it like yeah. took some apples and then walked away. I could have shot it. I didn't know how big it was. So uh -huh. I was just kind of like scoping it out, you know, and then, um, yeah. oh, I'm shaking so bad. <laughs> literally. I can hear it. I, can hear <laughs> I am That's shaking awesome. so bad. You're on video right that now too, cool. so. Um, Oh my goodness, so Yelp came back broadside and I said, I'm shooting it. So I turned the video camera to where he was and then, oh, cool. oh my goodness, perfect broadside, thwacked him. Oh, so he runs through the woods and I'm like sitting yeah. here, I'm like shaking so bad. Yeah. Oh, so he like ran in the woods and then all I heard was and then nothing. Oh my. It was a perfect shot. Perfect, like, like the most. Did, uh... It was 627. Okay. Wow, it, five minutes, yeah. It was insane, Dad. <laughs> oh, Jordan. <laughs> oh, so bear down. Oh, bear down, buddy. Yes. All right guys, just got back to the trail. 
This is where I'm gonna move my dad. Phil and them are up that way about two miles, still hunting. I haven't heard any shots yet, but I hope he gets one too. Like I said, great blood. It was a, uh, I didn't go in any farther than about 10 yards, but uh, that bear can't be more than, probably didn't go 20. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I'm thinking that it probably went about 50 yards. I heard the death moan. So I definitely know that it's dead. I just don't want to go in there by myself. I'll turn it this way. I don't want to go in the woods by myself. Um, still a bear, still bigger than me, still stronger than me. <laughs> so, you know, better have two people than just one. No point in going back there and having some shit happen because there are some big bear out here. And there's a lot more than just that one, I can tell you that. So, um, yeah, 627 it happened, went down. Um, I'm still honestly shaking a little bit because that is that was most exciting. The biggest feat of my hunting career was probably that right there so far. So to get it on video, to get great footage of a Michigan black bear, the grouse, just being up here is a total blessing in itself. So I'm very thankful. I just want to thank um, the two people who set up our spots. Um, it's a father and son great guys we've known them for a long time great family friends and they put us on some bear they always put us on bear so i want to say thank you to both of you guys won't name any names but i know that they'll they'll get the message for sure um hopefully they'll be able to get out here and see it later tonight but here i am just waiting on this beautiful up trail out in the middle of nowhere no cars no sound it's just perfect so well i'm gonna wait my dad should be coming up this trail anytime now so that's who i'm more excited to see than anyone so hopefully he gets here soon and definitely gonna have to get a toast later so <laughs> hello what's up you ready? yes i am Wait, isn't Joe? Oh, Joe's All right, there. first night, guys. Yep. Going to recover a bear. All right, we got a bear down, boys. This is the arrow complete pass through. The rage did. Oh, look at that bent rage. The blade. Wow, that's insane. Good red blood. All the way. I think it was a double lung for sure. But we'll find out here in a minute. We're going to follow the trail and see where it goes. I went in about 10 yards so far, so we'll see what happens, but isn't that awesome? That's so crazy. I've never seen one bend like that. Definitely. Wait, hold on. where's the ratchet strap? Where's the ratchet strap? Huh? Right here. We need that. I know. That's going to be tough without. Oh, I should have put over spotlight. Joe, you got that flashlight on you? Oh. Coming, Joe? Yeah. Getting that first blood. Oh, you're going to have a lot. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of blood. <laughs> Up there. Oh, it gets better. It's thick, dude. So, are we at that white yard? Yet? Look at this blood. Oh my goodness. Good shot, oh, bud. Oh, <laughs> dude, that was no so It was like this, but literally five like, inches of. That's a creep. Just keep following me. Marcel, how's that? Oh, there you got blood right there. Yep. I can't see. I'm stumbling. I'm also drunk. You said mine was big. You said mine was bigger. Oh, Dude, the glass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Is that the blood? It's everywhere. I can't see the bear. I wish the people could see what we're crawling through. What we gotta get the deer. Huh? Don't follow me yet. Okay. Because I think you can just. <laughs> here, stay right here. Yep. Because that's last one. Okay. Oh, there's the seal. You ready? I need to oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. What do you got? No way. What did you do? <laughs> You're kidding. Oh, let's go. Oh, 
Here you go. Hey, hey, he does. I would have this bad. Come on now. Come on now. No, you get that leaf off his eyeball. Look at that thing. Hey, oh my goodness. That is pure Michigan. Jordan. Look Jordan. at the paws on that thing. Set that down. Look at the paws on that All right. thing. Let's get a good still shot here. Look at me. Oh, we have to get my one while gosh. it's here. We have to get oh, one I've with gotten... all of us. One with Look all at of him. us. That's a sweet spot here. I gotta move this branch real quick. There's a log right there. Good. No, hold on. Someone's gonna have to lift it. Here we go. Let's go. That's all right. But Let's go. pick up its head. Let him get a hold of the head. Or awesome. let him. How's it going, guys? This is Jordan from TMD Outdoors. Um, we're crossing the Mackinac Bridge as I speak. Um, we just wrapped up 2021 bear camp uh, up in the UP, Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Um, turned out to be a really great week. I mean, all of us guys were up there. I think we had seven or eight of us up there at one time. So uh, good fellowship with each other and uh, just chilling, talking about good uh, hunting stories um, and then just riding trails and uh, that sort of fun stuff. But um, as I get into this video more, I can tell that, uh, or videoing, I can tell that I'm getting a lot more used to the camera. It's a lot different. I like it. Um, yeah, practice makes perfect, everything like that. So um, I'm about halfway across the bridge. Uh, like I said, great week. I uh, shot the first bear at our new camp uh, and first bear with a bow. I've shot in a bear uh, 10 years ago this year. Um, I shot a 459 pounder and that thing was a monster. This one uh, this year was 210 pounds, but great feet with the bow, I mean. Uh, I was looking at the CBM uh, record book that they put out every year and uh, there was only one entry above an 18 inch uh, score for the skull last year. So I'm like, oh, I mean, as long as it's 18 inches and 1 16th, then I'm in. I mean, that would be the coolest thing. So that's what I'm praying for. I actually uh, picked up the uh, Deer, or bear pelt from uh, Soderman's. It's up in the UP. Uh, it's a really good meat processing uh, uh, business. Um, so I just picked that up earlier. Got it in the back of the truck. Going to take it to our uh, taxidermist Ron probably in the next day or two. Got to put it on ice so that it doesn't uh, ruin that pelt. So um, yeah, all the guys went home today. So uh, there's my dad behind me, so he's just cruising, trying to get home, um, and then that's pretty much it. I just want to thank everyone for uh, watching this video. Um, there was a lot of hard work put into it. I mean, the hours that you spend uh, alone practicing and uh, getting prepared is uh, not really shown, and I'm going to... our really uh, mission is to kind of show you the ropes and how to get your hunting career started. So, um, yeah, here we are pulling off the bridge and I think I'm probably gonna let you guys go with that. Um, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the hard work, guys, and uh, great weekend. Great week weekend in the UP. And I'm gonna end it just like this for you to get a look. Just beautiful. Can't get any better than Michigan, let me tell you. All right, tagging drag outdoors is out.